Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about why streetwear is not appealing in India and why it has kind of a chapri reputation. Shout out to Zantex for being our 100th subscriber and yes, we completed our 100th subscribers finally. Thank you so much all for watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. If you don't know what we're talking about or what streetwear is or if you know what streetwear is and how you can get into streetwear, I have this series going on on streetwear so you can watch that. The card is right here for the playlist. It's also linked in the description below. This video is not going to be that regular video that I post every time. This is kind of a theoretical video and we're going to dive deep into uh, theory. You might have had this thought in your mind because at least I had that why streetwear isn't as popular as it is in the western countries. It's like just recently that Gully Boy came out and streetwear became kind of more popular. Before that, the only people who wore it were mostly rappers and the other people who wore it gave it a chapri reputation. It's not their fault exactly, we'll come back to that later. So what exactly is the problem? Well, I've done a lot of research for this, well, kind of my own research. So here it is. The first one is appearance. So here's a complicated fact. You might be aware of the term evolution. So our minds over the thousands of years have evolved a lot. And we as humans find other humans attractive based on their body shape and symmetry. For example, we always prefer a dude that has an aesthetic body over a normal one. Similarly, we find symmetrical faces more attractive compared to non-symmetrical ones. So how does this relate to street fashion? Well, for comparison, we'll take a well-tailored suit on the first hand and a good streetwear outfit on the other. And if someone is looking at these outfits for the first time, he does not know what suits are, what streetwear is. And if the guy is looking at them for the first time, you know, he'd always prefer the suit over streetwear outfits. It's because well-tailored suits give you that V-shape, that aesthetic shape, broad shoulders, that sharp look and gives you an overall symmetry. On the other hand, streetwear clothes does not necessarily improve your body posture or your body shape or even makes you symmetrical because many of the sneakers and these clothes have a lot of asymmetry in them. So for me, if I see a dude wearing like on point streetwear outfit, which is like just amazing, I'll be like, that's dope. That looks great because I know that this kind of fashion exists. I know what streetwear is. So in my head, it looks good for me. I understand the fashion. But the ones who don't, who have never seen streetwear or don't understand hip hop culture in general, they won't find it as attractive. And also in some cases, these oversized clothes can make you look a little overweight. Number two is Tapori reputation. Again, it's not their fault exactly. They just don't know what looks good and what doesn't. These people also have the wrong influence and under that wrong influence, they wear stupid and fake shit. And that's how you end up being chapri. If you don't want to be a chapri, I've made a separate video on how to not be a chapri, chapri style mistakes. So you can watch that video right here. The card is right here. It's also linked in the description below. And this is the main purpose of this channel. I know how good streetwear is and I want to make it popular in India in a good way. And I've seen no one promote streetwear in India. Even though it's so good, I want to make streetwear popular in India. Watch my streetwear playlist and you'll know why streetwear is so amazing and why you should try it out for yourself. Number three, it's expensive. I understand why people relate good streetwear with money. Because all these celebrities wearing brands like Versace, Louis Vuitton, Off-White, Supreme, where a single sweatshirt costs like 10 lakh rupees. So is streetwear expensive? Yes, it is. Is it only for the super rich people? Not necessarily. It doesn't have to be expensive. That's what I'm saying. I can right now pull off an entire outfit in like under 3000 rupees, including sneakers. That's actually a good video idea. I'm going to make this video. So stay tuned for that and make sure you subscribe and press the notification bell so that you get the notification. So that was it, guys. I'm going to make a separate video on how you can wear or style streetwear according to your body shape. So that way you won't look you know, disproportionate or overweight or something like that. So that's what we are going to cover in the next video series of the streetwear fashion series. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't give it a thumbs down and let me know in the comment section below what you did not like about the video and I'll improve it in my future videos. And you can win a shout out, comment something that you feel about this video, anything. It could be anything, a suggestion, a video idea or just in general review or anything. You can comment it down below and you can win a shout out in my next video. 
Also, if you want to talk to me personally, my Instagram handle is at streetstylescape where you can talk to me directly, uh, get updates for videos. And also, I have my own Snapchat now, so you can add me on Snapchat too. So, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Stay at home, stay safe, stay stylish. Street Stylescape.